To solve a Rubik's Cube, what you want to do is first decide which side you're going to solve. And I'm going to use the, the white side and what I like to do is find one corner and just put that upright. Um, and I'm going to show you once you've picked a side that you're going to solve how to use three basic moves to solve the entire Rubik's 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube using just those three moves repeated over and over again. There are three series of moves, so they're called algorithms, but I'm gonna try and not get too technical um, with the steps of that yet. So the first step is trying to get one solid face. I'm going to use, um, like I said, white as the color for that. What you need to pay attention to is not just getting all of the white pieces kind of facing each other there, but also look at the side colors as well. So here I want one that's white and blue, and that piece is right there, white and blue. To get this piece up to here, I put it directly beneath where it needs to go, and this is the series of moves I do. I turn the face counterclockwise, I turn the down section here clockwise, and then I turn my face back. Notice that brought this piece from here up to here, and it lines up the two blue sections, so that's perfect. Um, I'm going to now put this piece that has white and orange up to there using that same series of moves. I turn the face, the bottom, or the down, and then the face right there. I'm going to do the same thing with this piece, but first I have to twist it so that it's directly under where it needs to go. Notice this is the white, red, and green, so it's going to go right between those two. I'm going to do the same move, only in this way it's kind of the reverse of that, because I turn the face clockwise, then I turn the bottom clockwise, and then the face counterclockwise. And that will bring that to there. Now that you have the top solved, we are going. I'm going to show you two algorithms, or two series of moves, that will get this bottom section completely solved without messing up the top. The first one I want to show you is a move that will switch two pieces. So what I like to do is find, um, in this case I've got green and green next to each other, I'm going to put them beneath um, the green and green. That will also put the blue and blue pieces um, right underneath blue and blue. So I need to switch these two so that my green red goes over to here and my green orange goes over to here. So I want to switch those two. You turn the down part clockwise, the right counterclockwise, then the down comes back um, counterclockwise, and the right goes back. Then I'm going to turn the down clockwise here, and then turn the face clockwise, down, and then the face counterclockwise. You can see that my top now stays the same here. I'm going to rotate um, the down part here counterclockwise one more so I can now look at what's happened. My green and red is under green and red. Orange and green is under orange and green. We're going to repeat that move here because I also have blue and red is under the blue and orange and blue and orange is under the blue and red. So I have to do this same series of moves or the same algorithm again. Down, down, and then the right goes counterclockwise, down goes back, right goes back. And then we rotate the downside there, turn the face so that it matches up and bring it back. Now I'm going to turn this one space um, counterclockwise so you can see again, look, I've, I've moved those pieces where blue-orange is under blue-orange and blue-red is now under blue-red. Now that we have the pieces in um, the correct locations, green, red, red, blue, blue, orange, and green, orange, they're all in the correct locations. Now I'm going to show you the algorithm for turning the bottom pieces while they stay where they are. The key here is that this algorithm will turn three pieces, these three pieces, and leave this piece exactly where it is. The sides that will end up, or the faces of these corners that will end up being down, are kind of like hitting the front end, front end, and sort of front end. So it's there, there, and there. 
those are the, the faces that will end up um, being down. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now I'm going to do this algorithm right here because I want just one yellow space facing down. And then I'm going to turn it again and it will rotate. Um, I'll leave the one yellow face down and I'll rotate the other three. So that's what you want. You want one yellow face. The algorithm for keeping this one the same and changing these three looks like this. First you turn the right side counterclockwise, downside counterclockwise. My right goes back there or clockwise again. The bottom turns again or the down turns again. And I'm going to bring the right counterclockwise and turn the bottom two spaces. It doesn't matter which direction you turn it to go to. And then clockwise again. Let's look at our bottom. We notice that we do have just one yellow facing down, which is what we wanted. And the other three are non-yellow colors. So now what we have is this yellow one, and then that one, that one, and that one, which is what we want. Those are That's gonna put three yellows all facing down. If you get to this point and instead it's um, uh, non-yellow, 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 that's okay, just do the same move twice and it'll, it'll do the same thing. So let's go ahead and solve it. This is the final algorithm that will solve it. We're going to do the same moves that we just did. and it will solve the Rubik's Cube. So there it is, the full solution for solving the two by two Rubik's Cube. Hope that video was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.